What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Where is my, why is my hair so bad? And where is my overlay gone? But anyway, we're back and today we've got a couple of more packs to go through. So we're going to go through the Italian League Guardians. There's a lot of good players in this pack. But first we are going to go through the European Club midfielders, which have the three new Epic Legend boosters, right? So these are, for everyone confused, these are kind of replacing the Legends um, they're now known as epic boosters, so they've got the booster on them, we've got Zeroberto, we've got Cambiasso, and we've got Sedarf, but on top of that, we also have them included in a brilliant pack of, I mean, these guys, some of the guys on here are endgame level players, you've got Kimmich Chouamene, you've also got, I would say, Rafa Silva, who's an attacking midfielder, uh, a brilliant player, and Pellegrini, right, so we're going to crack on with this, we're going to just focus on the three of these boys, we'll be back then with another video on just these guys, um, but we are going to kick off with Zeroberto, so, the one thing I will say about Zeroberto is that I definitely would play him uh, because his booster goes to his dribbling, his ball control, and his tight possession and low pass. I definitely would play him on that wide area. I know he can play central as well, and a few people will play him central, but he has one touch pass, he has pinpoint crossing, he has outside curl, he has fight, fighting spirit, um, and he has true the true passing skill, which I like. He doesn't have low lofted, but he does have dip and shot and soul control. He doesn't have double touch either. So that's something that you might want to give to him if you are used to playing with very spicy uh, left-sided players. Now, he's down as a creative playmaker as well, but with the booster there, I'm just going to get rid of my camera here just to show you the booster when we knock it on and off. With the, camera, with the booster here, you're going to have 81 on dribbling, 84 tight possession, and 83 low pass. That's going to mean that you're going to be getting a plus two on those stats straight off the rip, as usual. And then, of course, you're going to get the manager boost as well, which is going to be another plus two. So essentially, when you have your best manager, such as Pep Guardiola, and you play Zeroberto as his level one, and he's got 30 levels to go, you are going to have tight possession at 86, around that. Ball control are all going to be in the 80s, with dribbling and low pass all going to be in the 80s. Now, the one thing about this guy is he does have uh, standard form. It's not unwavering form, but we will show you two different types of build of him. I definitely think you can play him in both places. You could play him central, or you could play him out wide. I would probably play him as a left midfielder, but that's personally just me. And let's crack on with the build over on eFootballDB here. All right, so the first build we have of him is going to be a central midfielder type player. Now, I probably don't recommend this central midfielder build because, as I said, you're trying to turn a left midfielder into a central midfielder. And while that might work for the likes of Zinchenko or Rafael Guerrero or somebody like that, I do think that Roberto's best skills are best suited out wide. So that is the build that you're going to have. Now, remember, you're going to be getting a plus two to four with these stats on the booster stats, which are going to be ball control, dribbling, tight possession, and low pass. So they're all going to be pretty much as high into the 80s or low 90s as possible. And then, of course, you're also going to have your lofted pass at 90, your kicking power at 90, and your balance, stamina, and speed and acceleration all in the mid 80s. So it's a phenomenal card, let down a little bit by his lack of player skills in this position, but still a great card. For the left midfielder side role, this is kind of where I'd go with it, right? Now, I know he can play left back as well, but for that, you would just be boosting up his defense a little bit more than his dexterity and his lower body. So you don't need that as high if you are playing a defensive left midfielder or left back, right? But this one is a fantastic player as well. It's all about a lofted pass and low pass. Again, you're going to be getting that plus to the ball control, dribbling tight possession and low pass. And your lofted pass is going to be getting the manager boost, of course, as well. Kick and power is high, speed acceleration really high, balance is really high. And the most important thing about this guy, lads, is he just feels like he's a bit of an engine man. You know, he'll be able to run all day. Now, I think Sadarf is better. We'll get into him in a second. But yeah, I would definitely probably go with the left midfielder because of the player skills. If you're going to be putting a bit of player skills and time into Zeroberto, you could turn him into a central midfielder similar to the likes of Pavel Nedved. So doesn't have the stamina of Nedved maybe or the speed, um, but definitely a fantastic player on the ball. One of those kind of like dribble centric uh, players that can get forward. So yeah, I definitely think that he's a great player to have. We also have Sadarf here. So Sadar for me is probably the pick of him from an attacking point of view because I definitely think that his style of play is really rewarded in game. He's got the passing here, low pass, loft the pass, curl and kick and power, which is really, really nice. He can play left or right or through the middle anywhere, attacking, central or defensive. So I wouldn't play him defensive, 
But we will show you the best build, I think, for him, which is going to be through the middle kind of central midfielder, attacking midfielder. He's got Marseille turn, soul control, first time shot, one touch pass, weighted pass, pinpoint cross, and true pass, and outside curl, and fighting spirit. Fighting spirit is going to make these cards really, really strong, lads. Again, he has standard form, which I'm a bit surprised with, because Sadorf, I don't ever remember Sadorf being injured that much. Maybe it's just my memory is, gone, is going a bit, lads, with uh, he used to play with Milan. But I always remember him as kind of one of those guys that were just fantastic uh, uh, in shape at the time you know even playing back when he played you know when conditioning wasn't as big um but he was always a beast right in that milan squad um but yeah the build that we went for with sadarf we've just gone with one build here um and i'll show you right now so it's going to be an attacking midfielder slash center midfielder similar to kind of like pedri so lads that's the build we've gone we're gone with with sadarf right i don't think he'll be viable as a cmf or a dmf because number one he doesn't have the player skills right number two he doesn't have the speed so he does have balance and stamina, which we've really accelerated here with 14 into dexterity. And that's going to put you on without the boost, forgetting about the boost here. We're literally going to have 88 ball control, low pass, balance, 86 acceleration, 88 stamina, 94 tight possession, brilliant, brilliant stats, 86 dribbling as well. They're all going to get the boost, obviously, um, with the manager boost and then his booster that is in effect at all times. But I think that the big problem with this guy is his speed there or lack thereof um, for a central midfielder. You need to be able to get back a little bit. And if you go any higher with the lower body, you're just going to be going into the 90 zone with the stamina, which is a bit of a waste of time with the current gameplay, I think. So I would definitely have him as a kind of an attacking midfielder that still gets back. He has fighting spirit, so that will help out as well naturally. And he's got one touch pass, true pass and way to pass, which you can ping ball around. So yeah, a little bit of a disappointment with the speed there. I would have thought that it would be a little bit higher. Um, but I will do a video on speed versus acceleration soon to make you kind of have a clearer picture of what speed and acceleration does. And then last but not least, we do have Camby, as I like to call him, Camby Asso, one of my favorite players in the Pez series in my club when we did have that mode. And this guy is going to get the dueling, uh, which is the same as Makalele's that he had, which is going to give a boost to stamina, speed, tackling, and defensive awareness. So his tackling is going to be off the rip at 87, which is incredible. And you are going to be just playing him as a deep line DMF, lads. He's down as a destroyer. There is that debate. I did a video on Anchorman versus Destroyer. It depends on your play style, and it depends that there's not really much difference between them now, in my opinion. Um, but if you are looking at Cambiasso here, he does have some excellent player skills, but he doesn't have blocker. So that's one thing to keep in mind. He does not have blocker, and he's not the tallest DMF as well. If you're used to the likes of Rodri, or you're used to the likes of Declan Rice, or Casemiro, or somebody like that. Now, if you're used to the likes of Davids or Makalele, um, as destroyers, then yeah, you can go for it. I mean, Cambiasso is going to be the perfect foil if you are looking to break up play and break up people's legs. So I would definitely boost him up this way. We'll do it in real time, actually, with Cambiasso. All I'm going to be doing because of that booster is all I'm going to be doing is getting that tackling and defensive awareness as high as we can until we top it out. Now, I know we can go over the 100 now. I would potentially go to 97, to be honest with you, if you wanted to get that plus four boost with the booster. And then, of course, with the manager included in that, you could do that because you don't need it much speed as you think when you are a sitting C a dmf right you you definitely don't it's something that i get asked a lot i think 75 um acceleration and you know 72 73 you're going to be getting that boost with that as well so you could actually go with 73 here 75 there and that gives you a load of room to actually develop the player further right so you could actually go very very heavy with the aerial strength if you wanted to do that you also could go better with the passing you could get 82 passing there and of course you could go a bit of dribbling as well if you wanted that type of possession but essentially lads all you're going to be doing with cambiasso is the minute you get the ball with him you're going to be passing it away and when you don't have the ball you're going to be just a blocker an interceptor and a disruptor right so i definitely think this selection is really good we also have these three boys i will do a follow-up video of these because i want to spend a bit of time on kimmich chuamene pellegrini and rafa they're brilliant brilliant players till is also a really good player as well he's on a form this week he has fighting spirit heel trick one touch pass we'll have a crack at him in a little bit as well but yeah that is the three epic boosters i definitely think cambiasso will be a machine if you get him um so let me know if you're going to spin or skip and we'll see you later on when we live stream peace